Right, class, listen up. Right, detention. Disrespectful behaviour. <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. I'm currently stuck in a little storm. <laughs> it is the rainy season here in the Philippines, but I'm in El Nido and uh, I'm trying to outrun the storm, but it's not working very well. I need some windscreen wipers for my glasses, but to be honest, I'm actually quite liking it because it's cooling me down a little bit and uh, I've got my uh, I've got my trunks on so yeah we're getting wet well look at this we've got some farm work going on local farm work Woo! this is an adventure hello oh my god I hope you guys are enjoying it in your comfort while some getting pelted in this rain but uh, yeah, we're gonna be going on a little road trip around the island, hopefully uh, get out of this storm and then we'll get some food and we'll explore and uh, see how people are living here. Oh my God. You can see the storm there over there and that is where we're trying to get to uh, because there's no storm over there. Yeah. We got Ali Machan bringing it up the rear, but he's so far behind. Good thing I've got a GoPro because this is wet. I hope you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see how wet it is, but it's fun. I like it. Hello. Where are you going? Oh, we're going to the shop? Yeah? Oh, nice. No money. No money? Oh. <laughs> you stuck? You stuck? Yeah, no. Oh no, you've broken down. Ah, oh. you want me to call someone help for you? You need help? No. Oh, here we go. We're getting into sunny areas now. I think we might be escaping it. Look at this nice little local village. Oh, we got barbers there. We got some shops. Awesome. Hello! We got a, must be a secondary school here. They're wearing uniforms. Ah, here we go. Danny wants to invade the National High School, Barutan. Should we start uh, school again, go back to school? I don't think they have a no shirt policy. I think this is breaking many laws in many countries. What? Going into a high school topless. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. And I don't think we should let this man anywhere near. After much uh, deliberation, Danny has convinced us, hello, to check out the high school. Uh, whether we get stopped on site is another thing. Whether we're allowed to film is another thing, but we, it sort of looks beautiful, so we thought we'd have a look. Hello, Kamusta ka? Ogila? Hello. Let's see if we can take a look at the class. How are you? Where's the classroom? I've come, I've come for my first day at school. Yes, we want to uh, register. We're exchange students. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hello, Kamusta ka? We're the new exchange students. Who, who's going to, who's going to our countries then? Let's <laughs> see. Well, I have to Hello, say. Hello, how are you? Kamusta ka? Where's the classroom? We come to study. I have my first day at school today. No? No class? Oh, free day? Oh, yeah. It's a free day, guys. Okay. Are you a teacher? Yes, I am a teacher. Yes. That's funny. Hello. Hello, guys. Is it a free day today? Free day? So you're just chilling? No, we're passing our module. Oh, yeah? You're gonna pass? Yeah. Yeah, good. What, uh, so what age is it for the school from? What age are you guys? Uh, we're in grade 11. We're oh, grade, so you don't like the American system? Yeah. Ah, like being back in America? Oh, awesome. And you, do people live here as well? They live here? So it's boarding? No, they're not living here. No one lives here? Oh, okay. These are all classrooms? Yes. Oh, awesome. Okay, I'll let you get back to your stuff. Hope you, assi um, hope you finish your assignments. Study hard. Don't do drugs and uh, listen to your parents. Right class, listen up. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> right. Detention. <laughs> Disrespectful behaviour. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't play that card. <laughs> right. Lesson one. Give us some lessons on air removal. Hey, no slackers. Disrespectful. Don't talk above me. Right. Lesson one is. Oh, this is oh, the YouTube class. Right, guys. Lesson one is. Like. And subscribe. Hold on. Uh, who said you could get out of your seat? Do I do I make a good bossy teacher? Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We'll just. Sorry. Uh, shall I rub it off? No. Okay. We've uh, we've been chilling downstairs for a little bit, and uh, the teacher has asked has invited us up, so we're going to go say hello to him. Oh wow, we have lots of uh, greenery up here. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. We are here for our first day at school. <laughs> first day of school. I am Robert McGaffan, Grade 12 SN Advisory. Okay, Robert. So I have a peer and peer submitted the module. Okay. So break the paper of the student. Okay, so... The student may not answer it very well, but it's good. It's already good. A plus? Uh, we have the grading system here. Uh, 85, 90, 95, 100. Ah. That's right. We don't use A plus, okay. A minus. Uh, similar to England, we, we also do that. The medical. Okay. Thank you. The class finished? Yes. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Robert. So is Hello. This the Hello. 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 Anong pangalang mo? So what is the detention for? Nice to meet yes. you. Uh, they, are, they are needing something uh, like financial needs. Uh, they, are, they are struggling with the financial needs in order to pursue the research. So oh, if you awesome. Could, if you could provide something, that it, it would be good for them. Guys, study hard. Yes, Remember that. Oh yeah, don't end up like us. Yeah. yeah. On YouTube accounts. <laughs> yeah. Embarrassing <laughs> yourself. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Who's the troublemaker in the class? Six. Yeah, I, I would have guessed. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It's not. They're all kind. There you go. Go with Ali. Go with. On YouTube, yeah. On YouTube. Hey, I'll follow you. Okay. This is me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really appreciate you. Uh, yes, thank you for visiting our classroom. Really appreciate you being so welcoming. Thank you so much. Sorry, sorry for interrupting class. All right, guys. We are. We are gonna depart before we get arrested or some some kind of problem no, i'm joking they were really welcoming uh, especially my man robert who let us into his classroom very nice people and uh cool to show you guys what high school life is like that's one of the most interesting things i've never done that before uh, probably because it's illegal in most countries but <laughs> we got away with it here anyway on with the tour on with the road trip Alright guys, we're making good progress. Uh, we are just about to come into a town actually. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be a very local town. I doubt they will have seen many tourists here because we've driven quite a way and there's not much touristic things to do out here. So uh, yeah, just enjoying the natural beauty, so much greenery and there's some incredible views that we're passing. But I'm getting very hungry so hopefully we get something to eat. Oh look at this. We lost some construction work going on. Whoa. That is super cool. They must get so, so hot. They're wearing like all, like they're covered in clothes, obviously to protect them from the heat, from the sun, but Jesus, they must get so, so hot. All right, we've stopped on the side of the road. And look over here, we have the ice cream man. Let's have a taste. Ice cream? How are you? you? Good? Ice now. Do you have ice cream? Yeah. Okay. What flavors do you have? Flavor? Yeah. Melon, chocolate, and strawberry. Oh, which is the best one? What? What's. Oh, could I have a, a little bit of all three? Three of them? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Let's have a look inside. What have you got in there? Whoa. They call it uh, dirty ice cream here in the Philippines because that's not because it's dirty, just because, um, I'm trying to think why. Because 
the they used to sell it in the shops, but obviously because it's sold from a little uh, from a little vendor, that's the nickname that they have for it. But it's not actually that one. Hello, would you like ice cream? Ice cream? You can ask if they they want ice cream. I buy. I buy for them. You buy for them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't, know if, I don't know if that was lost in translation or not, but... What is this? In a bun? Yeah, buns. Ice cream in a bun? Yeah. Whoa. Can I try it? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Wait a minute. High five. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, see. So he basically just puts the little balls of ice cream in the bun. This is crazy. I've never never heard of this or seen this. Like never in my life. You just bite it like a little sandwich? Okay, here we go. How much for this? 20 pesos. 20 pesos, okay. That's half a dollar. That's very reasonable. Let's try this. Have you seen this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I guess we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna get like a sweet tooth from this. Is it good? That's actually quite good. That's really good. It's like a donut, almost like a donut. Wow, that's that's so cool. Ice cream. The ice cream is just like a standard ice cream. Um, you give to the children. You give some to the children. Uh, how do I say this? Um, if the the kids would like some ice cream, you I I pay I pay for them. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't want that. I want cone. Uh, yeah, for no, no, they they buy their own. Uh, does anyone else want one? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I'm really hungry or if this is incredible, but I love it. It's a nice little Filipino treat. You wouldn't think it works, but it does work. And usually, I hate mixing savory and sweet, but I have to say, this is so good. You want to try a bit, bro? Lovely. Sorry, it doesn't look very, doesn't look very appealing. Alright, let's give it a hand. Mmm. Mm. What is that? Like a raspberry or strawberry? Uh, strawberry, I think. Yeah. I've not had ice cream Harry, they're having a in a burger sandwich, huh? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Enjoy. Enjoy. Uh, I'm wondering, you know, since I said that I'd pay for everyone's ice cream, a lot more kids have turned up. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Honestly, I think I prefer this to ice cream in a cone because when you bite it, it's not instant, like, cold. You get the bun first, and then when you bite it a few more times, you get the rest of it. <laughs> Good? Yeah? Okay. I, how, many, how many you give? Uh, 120. 120 total. One pesos. 120 pesos. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's. I was expecting a lot more. Okay. okay. Wait, wait. Hopefully, we give wait. everyone a treat. Hello. Ice cream, anyone? Ice cream? Free. <laughs> for you. For you. Okay. That's 50 pesos. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay. We'll pay the man. Thank you, sir. Your change. Thank you very much. You are from uh, you are from here. Yeah. You live here. Yeah. And you uh, you just move around on your bike all day. Yeah. Oh, awesome! Such a like unique little way of cooling the ice cream. You just picks it up and then all the ice cream is stored in here. Here we go. Where are you from? England. England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rio. Rio. That is your name. Rio. You are from Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, you sir. Bye-bye. Bye. Just as uh, Ali is speaking to some locals, I thought I'd, you know, go and see what this is about. We have some a bamboo craftsman. Hello. Kamusta ka? Ogila. You are bamboo? Bamboo maker? Uh, ratan. 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 Anong pangalang mo? Idi. Idi. Nice to meet you. Oh, you have chickens? So look at this. He uh, gets the bamboo from here and you are making a bed? Bed. Wow, such a craftsman. That's that's incredible. How 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 many days to make? One week. One week. Wow, quick. 
And you said how much? How much you sell? Twelve. Twelve thousand. Oh, okay. So that's uh, twenty, just over twenty dollars, I think. Wow. Here we go. Ah, so he basically just kind of like a uh, weaving, like he threads it under, and then just these does this. Wow. And he does it in one week. All of this. Mm. <coughs> there we go. Very skilled. And then we have your. Is this your son? Yes. He's he's sanding. So there's multiple different uh, phases. Mm. Oh, awesome. Okay, bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Whoa, we lost our shoe here. It's got a mind of its own. That's so cool. The craftsman of. I don't know where we are. I have no idea where we are. I think we were on some some, some kind of small village. Um, do you know where we are? No, man. We're in nowhere. We're in heaven. We're just in the village. Village life. They're making chairs? Yeah, they're make, he's making a bed, apparently. Pretty cool. For $20, $20 that's going to cost, a homemade bed. Oh, here we go. I think Danny's spot. Oh, whoa. Look at this, guys. Feels like we're back in Bali here, bro. Got the rice paddies. They always seem to, they must have some kind of irrigation system that makes it uh, super wet because they've contained a lot of the moisture here. Must be good for the, for the rice. That is beautiful. Hello. Hello, sire. Up can I'm here, Anung Pangalang Mo. So this, guys, is a cow. Hello. I like your cow. Nice cow. He is, you can see, guys, he is on a rope, which probably can reach me. So, yeah, he's a big boy. You get a lot of meat out of that boy, boy. Oh, he's trying to scratch. Do you want me to scratch it for you? Yeah, I would not go near that. I'm staying this far away. You going, you going to go say hi to him? Um. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Oh, Danny's eyeing him up. We surrounded him. We're doing the pincer movement on him. He can't see us, we're in his blind spot. I could scratch that for you, brother, if you just let me come closer. But those horns, they could take me out in about 10 seconds. Ali, Ali, you're up. You're up. Petting the, co petting the cow. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's got chickens as well. I wonder if the chicken and the cow are friends. Anyway, enough uh, David Attenborough. Should we get, should we carry on? I love these boats. There's like maybe 50 of these boats and they're colored so pretty. And when we go over to the village over there, I'll show you even the houses are looking very pretty colors. These boats look so cute. They're almost like little mini fishing boats. And we are at Nakapan Beach, which goes all the way along. This is our, our hotel is actually over there. And then the second beach is here and it's just beautiful coconut trees. And this is like a natural sandbar. And uh, we got some locals, see if we can speak to them. Making some fishing nets over here. Hello, sir. Yeah. Kamusta ka? Kamusta ka? Oh. <laughs> you know how to speak in Tagalog? Or? Oh, a little bit. A little bit later. Uh, anong pangalang mo? <laughs> how are you? Good. Where have you been? You been in Cebu or? Uh, Cebu, yeah. Cebu. How many months is, is, is stay there? In Cebu? Oh, yeah. Oh, only one week. One week. It's yeah, yeah. It's very short. Very weeks. short, but yeah. I have uh, time constraints. But I will, I will definitely come back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. What are you doing? Yeah, we will. You will do to painting. 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 Oh, nice. A painter. Painter. You are a painter. Oh, yeah, awesome. Painter. I love your work. Hello, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, a fishing boat. Okay. Fishing yeah, for, boat. For tourist boat. Tourist boat. Yeah. Ah. Like you. Like ah. Like you. <laughs> You're gonna take me out on this. <laughs> How long will this take you, you to fix? If you, if you stay here longer, you learn in Tagalog much better. Ah, you. yes. Hopefully. Well, I will take another trip and learn more Tagalog. I'll, you'll be calling me a Filipino. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you marriage in Filipina? Sorry? Can you marriage the Filipina? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, I love what you've done with it. Yeah. She's a beauty. What's her name? Ah, What's Ruby. The... Ruby. Ruby. Ruby, yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, I'll let you keep working on, on Ruby. Have a good day. And... Uh, have a good, uh, have a good trip. <laughs> you, li you live here? 
Yeah, yeah. You live here? My, my house is here. Oh, this is a beautiful place. Yeah. I'm jealous. Yeah. Very jealous. <laughs> okay, have a good day. Where came from? My friends. From England? Oh, so far. So far. Okay. okay. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Have a good day. <laughs> Very friendly. Very friendly guy. Working in this heat, you can see he's got like the uh, cover stopping him from uh, sweating too much because boy, I'm sweating like a pig. Let's head over to uh, where Danny is. He's gone the other side and I'll show you the rest of this beach. And as we come over here, you've got more boats. So that's where I just was. And then here is the beach that we're staying on. Staying on just right the other side, probably in the middle. And you can see it's so beautiful. All the coconut trees just line the beach. And oh my God, there is a there is some civilization on that island. Mm -hmm. So we are going to get a kayak later today and kayak to one of these ones. Which one do you reckon? Well, the big one would be good, but if you look into this direction, I'm not sure if they, they want us to do that. Ooh, yeah. the, so. gods, the gods have spoken. Well, mm. if it's gonna storm, we're gonna at least swim to the small one. Yeah, 100%. That's we are going to one of these islands, whether, yeah. I, I like the small ones. I wanna see, yeah. Uh, well, we can easy swim to the small one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you can see almost there the where the the water is blue. Yep. It means it's very easy. Maybe even walkable. Yeah. Walk on water. Oh, there's people in there. The fishermen are having a day off. All right. I mean, might as well go right now while the weather is good. Separate video though, right? Yeah. Uh, we could, but I'm. Yeah, we could. Thirsty. Thirsty. Man. I'm hungry as well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, tomorrow morning, maybe we'll, ha we'll have to do kayaking tomorrow morning because we'll see what's going to happen with the weather. Yeah, doesn't look good. And then, as we come back into the village, this is a very local village. You can see, look how colourful these th houses are. I haven't seen any houses this colourful. It reminds me of Barbados, where they have extremely colourful houses. And they're on stilts as well. So, obviously, assuming they get flooding here. Although, this one's not actually on stilts. And then we got a... A nice little church here, a blue church. Oh, it was open earlier, but I don't think we can go in. And then this is the main road. We got a sandy main road. We got a little farm over here. With coconut trees. Oh, we got a machan driving through. Hello. Look at the skill. Kamusta ka? Kamusta ka? Good. Have a good day. <laughs> You look like a pirate with your hat. <laughs> okay, yeah. nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. Village life. They've got like a water tank here. Store a lot of the water. It, and guys, if I haven't told you already, it is hot. So hot. There's an impending rain cloud coming. But that is... Uh, I'm going to welcome that with open arms because I need some uh, cool air. Even Ali's hot. Ali, are you hot? If Ali's hot, then you can tell that it's a hot place. My shoulders are burning, man. Yeah, bro. It's hot. Oh, look how pretty these flowers are. Yeah, look how. Where? Yeah. My guy. Oh, boy. Want to buy some? Do you get? Hey, boy. Oh. All right. Let's uh, carry on. See there, the farmer is using the buffalo to... He's basically using it as a tractor, which is how they used to do it back in the day. Uh, but it's still cool to see that farmers here still use the, the buffalo as a form of, of uh, I guess, farming. It's not, it's not used very much in the Western world, I think. Super cool, interesting. <laughs> Uh oh! All right, back over the rickety bridge, and uh oh, what was that? Ali, you okay? All right. All right, guys, we're nearly there. Back along the uh, the windy, bumpy road, and nearly arrived. This is. Whoa. It's not easy driving. I've, dri I've driven on worse to be fair, but for me as a pretty much amateur motorcyclist, it's pretty hard. 
but I'm, I'm getting a lot better. I have driven in these motorbikes a lot recently, so I've got a lot better. All right, we've stopped at the vulcanizing shop. You know what that means? I don't even know. Like, is there a volcano at the back? <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but they have buco, apparently. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. car. Do you have a buco? Buco juice? B U K O? Yeah. Buco? Can yeah, I have the some? Buco juice is also the. Similar. The similar. Oh, same, yeah. it's the same as a coconut? Yeah, it's the same. Oh, you learn something new every day. Wait, so oh. it's like a shake? Yeah, if you want, we can make a shake. Yes, please. 50 buco. Is it 50 peso? Uh, 50 peso? The shake. How much is it? The, the buco shake? Yeah. Yeah, 50 pesos. 50 pesos, okay. Yes, please. Could I have one? Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. So, bu buco means coconut? Yeah. Ah. Yes, the <laughs> there Ooh, we go. My mind mind blown. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll sit back down. Okay, so. The man gets the coconut. But this is uh, for a shake. Okay, for the shake. He slices it up with the huge machete you got there, boss. You gotta be careful with that bad boy. And then. Very skillfully, just slices off the only, only the top bits. See how easily that just slices it off. There we go, and just gets to the top. Boom. So easy. He makes it look easy, but I bet that's hard. And then they put it in the shaker. Uh huh. There we go. Oh, look how much liquid it comes out. So much liquid. That must be like a liter. Do you put anything else in there? Ice. Mm -hmm. Oh, you put the meat in there yeah, as well. Yeah, the meat inside. Oh, awesome. Mm. I think this is going to be better than the coconut, bro. 100%. Oh, well, you easily get all of that coconut, leaving nothing behind. There's so much meat in there. Wow. There we go. Recycling every part of the coconut. Are you a vlogger? Yes. Mm. Where is your country? Uh, England. England. You are from Palawan, this area? Yeah. Oh, awesome. This is your first time in Philippines? First time. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But not the last time. How's, how's your life when the COVID-19 is? Uh, just stay at home. Okay. Just stay at home. Not, not, not bad, but it could be better. What about you? No, we stay also here. At stay here? Yeah, by YouTube channel? Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, what the name? I will give you my card. This is me. Uh, and Ali, uh, also my friend, yeah, has a channel. Too. Yeah, that's me. Facebook. Nice to meet you. What, what's your name again? Boom. Boom. Nice yeah. to meet you, Harry. Harry. Yeah. Can I film you making? Yeah, sure. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so cute. We add milk if you want. Okay, milk. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Oh, creamer. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Cream. Hello. <laughs> this is my little puppy. Hello, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and this is syrup? Yeah, syrup. It's a buko pandan flavor. Ah, yeah. Okay, there buko we go. Pandan. Food flavoring. I'm still yeah. surprised that buko is coconut. <laughs> buko shake. Yeah. And there we go. And then all the ingredients together. So we got four different ingredients there. Um, crush it all together. And we have the mixture. Here we go. Wow, we have the power lines dangling down. There we go. What do you want to the You want to put some milk or? Put what? Milk. Milk? milk? Yeah. Okay, yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you. This oh, thing. That, that looks so okay. good. I'm so excited to try this. They love their shakes here in the Philippines. Okay. And to be honest, so do I. I love having a shake. So refreshing, so much nutrients. And especially with this one, well, a little bit too much sugar, but I'm not complaining. This is going to be tasty. Thank you, sir. There we go. Danny Van by Sam. Here we go. In a little plastic cup. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh, it's okay. Just no lid, it's fine. I can give you this? Thank you. Okay, perfect. Oh, let's go and try this. Thank you so much. <laughs> this looks incredible. Oh, yes, please. Oh, we have a. Uh, what is this? Bamboo? Yeah. A bamboo straw, awesome. Wow, it's completely hard. Okay, let's go for it. All right, cheers guys. I'm probably not gonna down it like I usually do because I wanna actually taste it. 
That is so so cool. You can taste you really taste the coconut. So sweet. That is like nothing I've ever tried before. What's that? Crocodile. You have crocodile? No, yeah. Some people's coconut. I'd like to try. No, I've tried it before. Super, super sweet. Oh my god. So refreshing. You can really taste the milk and you can actually taste a little bit of the the bits inside so it's like really so many uh, so much nutrients in here mm. that is so good Ali hell yeah make sure you wear your helmet you never know what could happen this is so thick mm. oh my god That is delicious. Yeah. That makes the coconut taste even much better, huh? Yeah. And uh, it's nice knowing that you've got all the coconut. Usually when I just have a coconut, I just have the liquid and forget about the meat. But it's nice to uh, have that. The first time trying buco juice, and I have to say, not the last time. We'll, we'll finish it off. Probably not going to use this straw, but... Oh, too cold. Nearly finished it. Thank you so much. That's for you. Keep the change. Thank you so much. That was great. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. There we go. Wow, that was eight minutes. All right. Onwards and upwards. I'm just um, biking back to the hotel. I'm like two minutes away now, and I'm just like, I was just driving and like waving at, waving at everyone passing by, and then wait, like they wave at me first, and I'm just like so happy. I don't know what they put in that buco juice because I'm so happy right now, like so happy with the Philippines like it's been way more than I ever anticipated I'd, I was just expecting it to be naturally beautiful and it is naturally beautiful but for me I'm so surprised at how kind friendly jolly the people are here like it's so true what they say and I like honestly I'm so happy with everything and everyone here um, couldn't have had a better time here I don't think I've got anything bad to say um, and I'm, it is a real shame, but I'm only here for three weeks. Yeah, maybe a little bit more, but um, I have to go back to the UK and I'm really sad about that, but I will be coming back 100%. Uh, maybe in the next uh, few months, but I, I'm kind of happy that I'm leaving a lot of places because it means I've got a really good reason to come back, but Either way, I'm definitely going to come back. I mean, it's, it's been my favorite place. I think it's been my favorite place in the world so far. No, I don't want to give it that that title yet. Wait till we do the Q&A, wait till my trip's over. But uh, yeah, this place is incredible. We stopped at uh, this farm because we've seen some goaty mug goat faces. Cool. Uh, there's a whole family. So we got the male, the female and some babies. So. Obviously, I'm going to try and not aggravate father, father goat and goat face, but you never know. Yeah, that's the mother has the horns, the father has, he's packing some heat. The father has the balls. He's got the balls. Oh, look at the babies hopping. All right, well, that didn't go as well as I expected. What about the cows? Let's go there. Come, come visit them all. So cute, bro. So cute. You guys are probably wondering why I'm so fascinated with these animals and it's because I never had any pets growing up. Um, so I'm, I don't know, I just find animals fascinating and I'm terrible with animals, but that doesn't make me want to, oh, what's going on here? Oh, she's getting some milk. Can I have some goat milk? Okay, I gotta be careful because we don't know how aggressive these are and they are quite fast. Oh, that doesn't sound great. All right. Should we leave him be? No, bro. <laughs> David Attenborough over here. We're gonna protect ourselves with the helmet. No, look, they climbed the rock. Yeah. Clever. Oh, hello. Didn't see you over there, buddy. You want some, some of the action? You okay, Ali Machan? Ali Machan is scared. <laughs> you coming? All right, we're, we're coming to see them. And uh, the cow, is that a cow there? Yeah. Staring right at us. Oh, did you see him yeah, pick his... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is the cow... The cow looks fucking like... The cow looks aggressive. It just picked his knee up, like... 
that's what they do when they're about to ram. I just made that up, but I feel like that's true. Ali, we'll, we'll send Ali in, the biggest one. Ali, with the helmet. We have a challenge for you. Have a challenge for me. Yeah, you gotta go and tickle the cow. Tickle the cow. Tickle the cow. That's your challenge. Yeah. Wait, is it? Does, does the cow has the rope? Because if they have a rope, then we're. No, the cow is free. Really. The cow is free. Seriously, is that it's your freaking like, animal planet? It's a standoff. No, I don't think they're gonna do anything. Well, how fast are you? I mean, there's three goats over here against uh, four goats. I think it'll be good. All right. Well, Why here goes nothing. Scare them off too much. Hello. Leave them. They're on the feet. Hello. They're hiding. He's <laughs> like he can't see me. Oh, we have one. Oh, hello. Hello, big boy. All right, bye guys. Hilarious, cow is hanging out with the goats. Yeah, so cute. All right, just a little pit stop on the road trip. <laughs> All right guys, we're back at the hotel. Um, this is an incredible hotel, by the way, as you can see. And we've got a beautiful sunset in the background, but that's a different video. So check out my hotel video of Nakapan Beach if you want to see that video. But had an amazing day, a sick road trip, driving, just exploring. We had no like destination, just explored, met some really cool locals, had some great food and with good company, of course. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm making daily videos all the way through the Philippines. I'm having an incredible time here, like I've told you guys many times before. And I don't want to leave this place ever, but all good things must come to an end. So subscribe. Also subscribe to this legend Amen. and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.